Grenades in Rust are a bit of a touchy subject. You probably don't even take them on roams, and most people probably forgot they even exist. But when you die to one, it makes your blood boil. Dying to a well-placed nade has to be one of the worst ways to die in Rust. And yet, people still undervalue them. In this video, I not only used and abused hundreds of grenades, but I wasn't allowed to use any guns at all. And let me say, I was more than successful. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Before I spawned on the beach, I had decided that I wasn't allowed to use any guns unless I had gotten them from grenade kills. And once I depoted the loot, I had to go back to using nades. To get started, I farmed the road for comms and made my way towards outpost. Because bandit camp and outpost were merged, I knew I could buy grenades and decided that living next to outpost was my best option. After recycling all my comms and buying some nades, I farmed up some wood to build a legacy shack. I placed it just outside the building radius and then got a few bags down before going back in outpost. Since the server was 600 pop, I figured that camping the train tunnel entrance would be a smart move. But after waiting for almost 30 minutes, I realized people were smart enough not to come up here. I would have to get grenade kills doing something else. So I roamed the map in search of my first victim. Allow me to introduce Rust Magic, the fastest growing Rust site. They have just added slots and live games to the site. You can now deposit Rust skins and play on thousands of slots or even with a real blackjack dealer. They also have the best case battles with lots of unique features such as 2v2v2, a borrow money option that lets you do high roller battles with a small balance for no extra fees, and a coin flip mode where a coin flip decides the winner of the battle. They also have Minesweeper and loads of other games. Rust Magic is giving away $40,000 in July to the top 15 players on the site. If you're into the Rust Gamba, this is seriously the place to be. You can deposit with skins, credit card, PayPal, and crypto. And when you're done, they have a huge selection of skins to withdraw from. Or if you don't want skins, you can also cash out crypto instantly with a 0% fee. They have tons of rewards including a free rain system, daily free cases, and a rakeback system. And lastly, you can use my code Erwin for a free 50 cents to try out the site. My first attempt was a failure, which isn't unexpected. Being forced to only use grenades can be a severe disadvantage at first, but I knew as I continued I would get better. I just needed to get over a brief hurdle of failure, and to keep myself going, I thought of how mad my opponents were going to be once I mastered this devious challenge. And that's when I spotted my first victim. I followed him from a distance, and to my surprise, he stopped to recycle. Perfect. I finally got my first kill, and he was loaded. 250 scrap for just a few grenades was a great deal. This was the moment I realized I was going to become very rich doing this. I decided to place some small stashes in my legacy shack in case someone tried to raid me. Then I went out looking for more kills.
It was a slow and steady process. Killing other players with grenades was going to take a lot of patience and a lot of the time, I died trying. But nothing was going to stop me from becoming the most notorious nadester on the server. I was so busy trying to up my kill count, I didn't even realize someone had raided my legacy shack. But luckily, I had stashed away all my good loot, so I quickly rebuilt and went back to hunting for kills. I finally made it out with a humongous haul of loot. Those guys must have been fuming, and sooner or later, people were going to come looking for me, so I decided to expand into a 2x1. I began by farming some wooden stone, and then I got to cooking. After building my humble little 2x1, I took some comps to outposts to recycle so I could buy supplies to upgrade my base. Then I continued my journey across the map for more nade kills.
This was my first kill that actually had some sort of repercussion. This guy was part of a zerg, and his boys did not like that I just humiliated him like that. After hiding in the sewers for a bit, I took the train tunnels back to outpost. I figured this was the safest and least conspicuous way home. The last thing I needed was some angry zerg knocking on my front door. As the area around my base got hotter, my paranoia grew, and I didn't want anyone to think I would be a good raid target, so I started placing random building blocks all around my base. Since I had so much sulfur on me, I decided to take train tunnels again to ensure I got back to my base. Once I got to outpost, I waited for the cover of night just to increase my odds. After bleeding out, I quickly ran back to see if I could get the loot, but my enemies had gotten there first. Luckily for me, he actually went offline right in front of me, so I counted my lucky stars and went home. Holy moly, that guy takes the cake for the most guns on a single victim. Let's see if my luck continues.
At this point, I really wanted to get a kill on a guy with a tier 3 assault rifle. I had plenty of MP5s and Tommies to go around, and after countless failures, I finally saw a golden opportunity when a heli crashed in train yard. After wasting my last grenade, I grabbed a DB out of anger and killed one of the AK guys. I ended up F1 killing right then and there because I knew it went against the rules of my challenge. Sooner or later I would get a legit grenade kill against an AK or LR. As if the game was taunting me, I died to an LR from my roof camping neighbors. Revenge coursed through my veins as I knew I had to make him my next victim. At the end of the day, I was pretty happy with how this video turned out. To treat myself, I invited my longtime viewer Erwin V2 to come PvP with me. We had an absolute blast, and if you want a chance to be a part of any of my videos or just to hang out, hop on my Discord linked in the description. And as always, this video is made with love from the bottom of my heart, so thanks for watching.